Last year, in 2012, I was uh, awarded the GlaxoSmithKline Prize in Clinical Pharmacology. Uh, this is a prize that's awarded every two years. You win the prize one year and then the following year you present your work. That's why I'm here at Pharmacology 2013. I've been very lucky. I'm a basic pharmacologist, but I have been in a position where I can interact with clinicians, clinical pharmacologists, and I've been able to translate my bench findings to the clinical setting. And it's this research that I've been working on that was the basis of the uh, award of the prize. And the research was described and it's focused on looking at the therapeutic potential of two chemical entities. They're called inorganic nitrate and inorganic nitrite in the therapeutics of cardiovascular disease. So our preclinical research has shown us that those two anions, nitrate and nitrite, can act as sources of nitric oxide within the cardiovascular system. And that this provision of nitric oxide is beneficial in uh, cardiovascular disease scenarios. Now nitric oxide normally plays a critical role in keeping our blood vessels healthy. Our blood vessels normally in a healthy individual are constantly producing this substance. But in people who have cardiovascular disease, uh, there is a deficiency of NO generation, nitric oxide generation from the blood vessels. And so we've looked at nitrate and nitrite as strategies to replace these NO levels and perhaps recover the cardiovascular function in disease scenarios. So our preclinical data shows that nitrite is converted to nitric oxide in the heart during ischemia and that this protects the heart from the damaging effects of that ischemia and then reperfusion insult. We've actually tested this now in people who've had heart attacks. What happens when you have a heart attack, your coronary artery is blocked, a cardiologist treats you by putting a balloon down your coronary artery, inflating it and dislodging the blockage. And we've uh, done a clinical trial giving patients who are coming in for their um, balloon angioplasty some nitrite beforehand. We've also uh, looked at the effects of nitrate, which is a related molecule, it's NO3 minus, and our experimental work, both in our preclinical models and in our healthy volunteer studies, have shown us that uh, inorganic nitrate, NO3 minus, is converted to nitric oxide in the blood vessels of the body, and that this lowers blood pressure. Interestingly, the bioactivation of nitrate is slightly more complicated than that of nitrite and it turns out that for us to make nitric oxide from nitrate we need the help of some bacteria that live in our bodies. Um, but also we can actually give nitrate um, by consuming those components of our diet that actually have a very high inorganic nitrate content and that's true of vegetables and particularly green leafy vegetables and we've shown that whether you give inorganic nitrate as a supplement or whether you consume nitrate-rich vegetables, that these equally lower blood pressure through elevating nitric oxide levels within the cardiovascular system. And I understand that actually on this side of the Atlantic as well as on the other side of the Atlantic, it's accepted that dietary approaches to regulate one's cardiovascular health have not proven successful. People don't really want to take them up because they involve eating more fruit and veg rather than eating more chips and burgers. The current guidance that the NHS provides to the general public is that to sustain their cardiovascular health, they need to be eating five fruit and veg a day. Um, over in the US, I think, I believe it's seven fruit and veg a day. And for many people, that's simply unachievable. Um, but actually what we've discovered is that perhaps you don't actually necessarily need five. There's some evidence from large cohort studies that the greatest protection of a fruit and vegetable rich diet actually comes from green leafy vegetables. And the one thing we know about those green leafy vegetables is that they are packed full of inorganic nitrate.